making the breezeway for the stairwell because right now when you walk down the stairwell, it's not enough headroom. So as opposed to having a duct, we're actually extracting the portion of the ceiling out, which is actually a portion of the floor to make headroom to come down. And okay. we just so happen to have the transition point for it. So. Okay, you know. this is Brother Haru, and uh, here in Philadelphia, Philadelphia Roundtable. He's uh, going to show us a few things about structural and maintaining the structural integrity of the house while you're uh, re reforming or reconditioning uh, it. I guess that's the way you put it. Yeah. More or less. Rehab. Rehab. There you go. All right. Rehab, renovations. Renovations. We also have uh, Brother Kerry. Brother Kerry from uh, originally out of New York and uh, now in Virginia. He's an electrician by trade and knowledgeable all around in the housing trades. Okay, here we go. It's amazing how you just find so much stuff in these things. You gotta wonder about the materials that are involved with these old houses too. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. This house was built in 1915, I believe. Right. So it's almost 100 years old. You know, they use very good materials because, you know, although they're worn and torn, that's what they're supposed to do. You know, you think about, you know, it's, uh, pretty much a century this house has been together and the materials actually hold, uphold. This is the original structure right here. This is the original floor that came here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for it to be, you say, what, 115? Well, yeah, it's almost, a, it's almost 100. Next year, it'll be 100 years old. A long time, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. think the wood that, that's being produced now oh, doesn't even last that long. They don't care about the wood now, do they? Oh, no. Yeah, come on down here. They just cut it and take it to the sawmill and get paid. That's all. Roughly, I need to make an extraction back. To, to yeah, come on down, Kerry. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is stick this in here. And probably call it some dust. It sounds good. It might be a little lead in some of this stuff or asbestos, I guess. Well, not necessarily asbestos, but it's old. When you open up a house, there's a whole bunch of dust and things that are mixed Yeah. Okay. I need to clear my lungs. I feel a lot of time. I try to. I usually work sure. mass and things of that nature. Right. Sure. You know, that's the time. That's the measure. Yada, yada, yada. Ah, okay. Let me get a little clean up in. Yeah, you don't want to slip and slide. Yeah. Yeah. But that's basically the, um, yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the distraction right there, though. That's pretty much what we need. Yeah. So now we can start building up, and, you know, maybe back to work, back to a little bit. And build and see what we got. Okay, so you think that's enough head headroom? Yeah, we got a, no, a, little, more. a little more. Yeah, little about more. another five slats. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
take my blade because usually you start to cut the saw down like this. Sometimes when I want to make a plunge, what we call a plunge cut or route cut coming right up, I take the saws off and I'll flip it upside down like so. Okay. So now I can cut up. I can plunge up. Alright. Support anything, they don't support anything, nah, it's just handy, nah, right? Nah, nah. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything if it comes off. Yeah, if it comes off, it comes off. You know, because you can always, even if you don't want it this high, you can always basically bring it down lower. But initially, I want to take all this, that leaving off. It doesn't make any sense to leave it up there anyway. Right. It's kind of worked out. Just leave what's there. Is that uh? That's not in the way. As you come down the steps, it's, it's clear, good. right? Not, not at all. Okay. Yeah. It's it's got stay. perfect clearance off all the steps. Perfect. Perfect. That's the only one right there. But still, at that point, that's you can turn right or left. Right. You can turn you right or left. Down this step. Oh, it. that's it. Okay. Good. All right. Let's take right, here. And you can see under here is just uh, the bottom of the stairs to yep. the second floor. Beautiful work work on the stairs though. Okay. So now I guess you can run that whole process. This is the rough end right here. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, you want me to do the whole thing of it being completely cosmetic out. Right, so, done. so just a little drywall, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Drywall, you put some cement in the pocket. 
you plug your pockets up. Mm -hmm. You can do a little bit of coffee for it. Like I said, if you want to install like a little cabinet or shelf there, you can put something there all fancy or whatever. <laughs> It'll make it look really nice. Okay. And fuse this into that way. That way it'd be the same plan. Right, right. Okay, beautiful. Definitely like to thank you for that, you know, and uh, because that was a problem when we came to the property here, there was yeah. almost no real step. Right. And we wanted to be up the code, so we got the uh, steps by fast stair. Carrying brother who helped put that, line that up, set that up. And the problem at that point was the headroom. Yeah. So as we open this space up here, now you can walk down it without any problem. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got to thank brother Haru one more time, and uh, we'll be back next episode. Peace. Yes, sir. Peace.